welcome back to my channel. It's Krista from Hebert's Down Home. If you are new here, welcome. I would love to have you click that subscribe button down below. Today is Trim Healthy Tuesday and we are talking breakfast. I'm gonna give you two really super simple breakfast ideas that you can make ahead so that you can grab and go in the morning. The first one is gonna be a maple apple oatmeal topping and the second one is breakfast burritos. show you today is an apple maple oatmeal topping that I like to make and keep on hand to put on top of my oatmeal in the morning. Um, you could also bake this into a baked oatmeal or baked oatmeal muffins or something like that. It would be really yummy that way too. So it's just a basic um, apple, almost like apple pie filling um, that's on plan that you can throw on top of your oatmeal in the mornings. So I'll show you how I make it. First thing I'm gonna do is just cut up some apples, slice them up. And take the cores out. I leave the peel on. going to add about a half a cup of water to this and then put it on the stove to boil. To my mixture on the stove I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of nutmeg, one teaspoon of cinnamon, Some people like caramel extract in it, and I like maple, a little bit of maple flavoring. So I'm gonna use about a teaspoon of maple flavoring. Looks like I need to be getting some more. I'm also gonna add this time, which I haven't done this before, but I'm gonna add a little bit of black strap molasses. That's going to give it more of that brown sugar flavor instead of the white sugar flavor because I'm going to just add a sweetener in there. It's my gentle sweet. So I'm going to do a little bit of blackstrap molasses. I'm going to do about a teaspoon. Stir that in there. Get it hot. And a tablespoon of the gentle sweet. I'm going to kind of heat my tablespoon, a heaping tablespoon, let's say, of gentle sweet. This smells wonderful. This is like comfort food. This will make your kitchen smell so good. The kids will come running. What are you cooking, mom? What are you baking? And I'm like, oh, my topping for my oatmeal. <laughs> they don't like oatmeal, so they're not ever very thrilled with that answer. I have my apple topping on the stove, boiling down, and I'm gonna get going on my breakfast burritos next. As you can see here, we have farm fresh eggs. We have our own chickens. So we have eggs, lots of eggs a lot of times, especially in the spring and summer. So I've got my eggs. I cooked up some turkey sausage and this sausage is so lean this time that I actually had to add coconut oil in to have enough grease to cook it without it burning to my skillet. I am using a the largest um, electric skillet that we could find and we love this. We use it all the time for our large family of eight to cook up different things. So um, anyway, this is what I have in here. So far I have sausage, I have some ham, and I also added some green peppers and onions because this batch is for Monty and I and a few of the older kids who like that. For my littler kids, I have um, sausage, um, ham, and I also did add a little bit of um, hash brown potatoes to theirs. So that would make it not 
Trim Healthy Mama approved, but kid approved. So we're kind of compromising here a little bit, but that's the way that they like theirs. So I'm just gonna cook it up and then I'm gonna add in my eggs here shortly. I'm gonna crack about 18 eggs, I think is what I have here, into my bowl. some cheese to it because it's almost done cooking. So I'm going to add a little cheese to the top. Finish up cooking it and then it will be ready to put in the tortilla shells. I'm gonna use the Olay brand Extreme Wellness High Fiber Low Carb Tortilla Wrap and um, wrap them up in there. So I'm gonna wrap these up and I'll show you how I do that. Super easy, throw them in the freezer, done deal. I'm doing about a third of a cup in each one. And then I'm actually gonna sprinkle them with a little bit of extra cheese on top because I didn't put a lot of cheese in it. That'll kind of melt then again. I'm gonna roll it up over here on the foil. So I put them in foil packaging, but and then I put them in a baggie and throw them in the freezer. So these can either be taken out of the foil and microwaved for about two minutes or so, that's what we do them for, or you can throw them back in the oven and heat them up in the oven in the foil. So you can choose how you do it. Monty, of course, taking them to work, microwaves them. Um, we do it both ways, it just depends on the day. So, and how quick we need them done. If we need them done super quick, then we throw them in the, and take the foil off, of course, and then um, throw them in the microwave. So that's kind of how we do those breakfast burritos. Then we get a whole bag of them going and we just have them in the freezer to grab and go when we want them. This is how the apples turned out. Just kind of a yummy consistency. I probably cook them on a fairly high heat, stirring often um, for maybe about 10 minutes total. So, and then they're pretty much done. I'm just gonna stick them in the fridge and we'll use them up this week. <laughs> 